lay it down and kind of beat on it a little bit. Yeah, all right. Most of the time, I, I hear exactly what you guys are talking about with the one bag travel. Everybody wants to do one bag travel. And for me, I'm getting a little older. So the one bag travel thing is cool, but let me keep it a hundred. I like, I like my carry-on bags. And so when I heard that Air was putting out a carry-on bag, I was like, yes, send that to me, please. So I could check it out. So here we are right here. I think this is launching, like the official launch date is today. So it's more appropriate. It's appropriate for me to do this unboxing. I haven't gotten to use it because I just came back from a flight. It kind of caught me in an in-between period where I didn't get to travel with it, but I will. I definitely will. So let's open this thing up. I got my knife in my pocket, little, uh, this is the Spyderco Little Native. Love that little knife. Anyway, let's open this thing up, right? Opening up with, with the fellas right now and the young ladies, if there's any young ladies out there. So we popping this open. So y'all gonna get my true first impressions on this thing. I hope it's awesome because I need me a new carry-on. All right, I'm liking this so far. You got, I got, I see a white bag in there. So we'll pull that out. Okay, okay, nice. Let's put the box to the side. So yes, we got a nice little, you know, protective bag right here. I like that a lot. And it's high quality, actually. This is a nice, heavy cotton bag air in the front. So let's undo this. Undo this. And I got it in some a ridiculously <laughs> bright orange color, right? But whatever, because everybody's gonna know in the whole airport that this is my bag, for sure. All right, man, I like it. Let me not put that in the floor. I'm gonna hang that up. Let's walk through it, man. Like this color is 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 really jolting right here. This, I think this to call this like a safety orange. Check this out, man. Like, oh my God, that is crazy how bright this is. Um, what I'm noticing is, is like air carrying through what they always do. Little subtle branding right there on the top right here. You got this grab handle on the top. I'm liking that. It's, you know, like a rubbery feel and it has like a connection point at the top right here. Flip it around. It's got the extension handle here, like it. It looks like it's got a couple of different points where it can stop. Any rattle in it? Nope, not really. Some rattle, but not bad at all. It's pretty high quality. I like that a lot. Um, got a grab handle in the front. Like these, these grab handles, they don't really look like grab handles, right? They look like something else but they are actually grab handles. Like, the, they're the same one on the top and on the side, you know? So that's pretty tight. You got a TSA lock right here. It's set to all zeros. Pop it open. Are these YKK? YKK zips right here. I think that, and they have air branding on them and they're heavy duty. I don't know what size they are, but that's super nice. Like the outside is just really plain, right? Oh, this must be the, the braking system that they, they are talking about. So like you're rolling this around, like you're rolling this around, it's on the workbench, so it's not you know necessarily uh, very stable, but you're rolling this around and if you hit this lock, it stops the wheels from moving around so it won't roll away from you. Like say you're on an incline or something like that, that's pretty tight, I like that. That's the first time I've seen that on a carry-on bag is a locking braking system. And I think all carry-on bags should have that. Now, one of the things that always fails me on carry-ons are the wheels, the wheels. Now, Air says that these wheels are, have metal ball bearings in them. And yeah, I could tell the center is, is metal, but the wheel itself is plastic or rubber. Um, as long as I get that metal, I like a metal, I like a metal 
wheel on my uh, carry-ons now. They just seem like the all plastic ones. They run, they, you go through them so quickly. So on the outside, this, this material right here, they call this a polycarbonate. It, you know, it feels like a heavy, a heavy, really rigid plastic. That's what it feels like, you know, on the outside. But this color is bright, super damn bright. It is a super damn bright. So let's get into this thing, man. First impressions, like I said, so you're seeing it like I'm seeing it for the first time. And, oh man, this is nice in the inside. I like this. Like I can't, I'm trying to hold it up so you guys can see, but this, this is contrasts really well with the outside. Let's take one side at a time and kind of look at it. So on this side, it's got like this. I don't know, it's like a hold down for your clothes, but I see this large fit lock on this side. That's pretty damn tight. And okay, it slides out, there's like a little sleeve right there and then I'm guessing this is how you get to your supports and everything this zipper but the interior lining in this is really cool but this kind of um like sleeve is like very interesting I don't know what I would use that for you know okay there's a, I got another little package in here what is that oh nice leather tag that it comes with that's pretty damn tight. Nice leather luggage tag in the inside here. Welcome to the world of air. We're a team of creatives and travelers on a mission to create bags and suitcases that help people move smarter. We hope you enjoy this suitcase for many journeys to come. Yeah, that's nice. This leather, like most times you get these suitcases, they don't come with, you know, an extra tag or anything in there. But the, the sleeve itself, I'm thinking this, you're using this to kind of hold or, or, or hold your clothes down. Like you could flip it up and then you lay this down on top of everything and then use your fit lock, which you can tighten and loosen, right? Let me pull this off, pull this off. It's, yeah, so you could unloosen your fit lock, pack your clothes down and then pull this fit lock down and compress the whole thing in. That is nice. Super nice. I like the idea of this. I've not seen this. And even like the, the tag and everything, like this, this strap has like a leg, little leather detail to it. Nice. I like this a lot, man. And then they have a little bit of branding right there in like the crease of the suitcase right here. It says air. That's nice as well. And then this one on this side, it's more of a traditional. This is what I'm used to seeing on most like luggages is like this, this kind of compartment where you put your clothes underneath. But, you know, of course, Air wants to switch it up and do something different. I'm kind of having a hard time holding this up. But very good capacity. I don't have a capacity space on this, but I was to guess I would probably put it in maybe the 40, 45 liter range. You know, that's kind of what this, this works out to be. Most like the US carry-on sizes work out to be. The, the interior lining in this thing is awesome. Nice ripstop, I think that's a ripstop material. It's a light gray, I would consider it how it is. What's this right here? Oh, just a nice little pocket. Maybe you wanna put some quick access things in there. Something you need to grab really quickly. And then over here is another flat pocket where it's got the, you know, poison for the trolls in there. Shout out to Flossie. But yeah, it's nice mesh in here. I like the, the, the contrast between the gray in the inside and this orange. It definitely highlights really well. This is really nice. The, I think it overshoots what I was expecting from Air, but I really shouldn't have thought that way because Air always produces some really high quality stuff. But I like the zippers on the inside. I mean, it's, it's simple, like not too complicated, but fulfilling everything that I need in a carry-on. Um, and then this outside material, I'm gonna zip it back up. Cause, I, cause what I noticed is like that, this outside material always takes a beating. I like this too. Like it's got a nice like ridge right here. It's nice, it's heavy plastic in the seam, but this outside material will always take a beating. I got hammers out here. Let's try it with a hammer and see 
what, okay, you gotta zip the zippers for it to, to fall into the lock. You gotta zip the zippers up here so it can kinda, kinda go into the lock. You gotta line that up. Now that's kinda fiddly. That's kinda fiddly. You gotta kinda get the zippers lined up. So let me make sure this one gets on in and it locks. And then you gotta get this one in and it locks. It's clean, like it looks clean right here, but it's kind of like fiddly to line it up. Let's, let's, let's take a hammer on it. Like, we're not gonna go too crazy. I got a little, you know, a mallet. Let's, let's take this, lay it down and kind of beat on it a little bit. Yeah, all right. Just took a couple good wax. No good, nothing showing. Listen, my luggage gets beat the hell out of. And I don't know about you guys, but you know, a couple good wax proves to me that, you know, it, it might be worthy to test it out on a real trip. Because if it would have cracked or something, I would have been like, guys, don't even try it. It's not really, and it's easy to clean too. Like if I took like, I don't know, like a Lysol wipe or something to this, it would be pretty easy to clean this the whole thing off. So I like that a lot. Like, we gotta test the wheels out though. We wanna test that out. So let's do that next. All right, let's check out the locking feature. All right, it was locked. It look, feels like it's locking like the back two wheels and wheels that are closest to me. So yeah, definitely not moving anymore. So you can't move it, unlock it, moving again. So pretty nice. Do the spin. All right, guys, like, I think. I think that this is an excellent carry-on bag, right? It's gonna, I think it's gonna hold up really well. Um, it looks really good. Like my first impression of, it, of this is like, it's not overly complicated, but really, really solid. So Air did a really good job. I like, I like the double grab handles on the side. I actually like the YKK zips, even though you gotta kind of line the zippers up. The wheels move really well. The interior of this is excellent. You know, like I'm not saying it's, top top quality but it's really good for for this setup it's designed really really well i like this a lot air thanks for sending this out for me to like test out and i haven't been able to like you know take it to the airport and fly out anywhere yet but i will trust me i will so guys if you like this video hit the thumbs up button if you loved it subscribe to the channel right and uh if you got questions about this luggage yes i'm gonna come back and Give y'all a you know update even if I do like a YouTube short, I'll let you know how it's been holding up. But that mallet wax got me confident that this thing is gonna hold up well. So thanks guys, I'll see you guys. Peace.